Yeah, and welcome back to Ducks of the Gaming and Hort Belleron. That's right, we're back in France on a wet and drizzly day and we have got some work to do. So we're going to get straight into it and uh, kick it all off. So let's have a look and see where we're at. Now, a couple of things I do need to um, discuss uh, before we get kicking off. Um, I did make a couple of changes um, to our setup. I'm um, just going to see where I am. Over here. So as you are aware, um, we recently, a few episodes back, put in the pig, the piggery here. And this field here was our potato field. We've made some changes to the potato field. The potato field is now much smaller than what it was. Um, it's not necessarily going to be the potato field full time, but certainly that's what it's being used for at the moment. So we, we truncated that. And the reason being, we put in two more sheep farms. Um, we did sell off some some juice and jam, and we um, decided that we needed some more sheep. So we've put in two two barns. Uh, they are chock a block full of sheep. We bought six hundred uh, lambs, and um, for each of these, and that is basically going to be supplying us not only the wool but also the meat for our butchery. So that's why we bought six hundred. So as soon as they get um, the age where they're going to be useful to uh, to send to the the butchers to the slaughterhouse, then uh, that's what we're going to do. So that's uh, that aspect of it done. Um, with the factory, we've now got um, everything lined up and running. We're now running some pasta sauce through. Um, we're waiting on some other materials to continue on with other other products, but we just turned all that on. So you should start seeing some produce out of there as well. Um, the sugar mill and the dairy are all running as normal. The bakery we've now set up and got, I think, we've got most products running from here now. Um, we did fill up with flour and eggs, so um, we should hopefully start seeing. Actually, no, we haven't got anything running in here. Why haven't we got anything running from here? Because uh, we haven't turned anything on yet, is that right? Right. So we want to make bread. Okay, I'm just going to turn all these on and we can start, I don't want a great pie, um, we can start getting our bakery products running. So, as you can see, flour, sugar, milk, eggs, butter, strawberries, we're a bit short on strawberries. We do have a load of, um, of stuff from the greenhouses to distribute, so we can do that as well, uh, but that's going to get the, that all started now. So that, that's all good. Okay, brown sugar we need as well. Now that's coming out of the warehouse, sorry, the factory. Um, maple syrup we've got the oops where are we last from sugar cane is being produced which is fine uh, and the brown sugar here is being produced we've got plenty of molasses in there at the moment uh, we've got some sugar should have some sugar there have a look the sugar oh sugar there so yes we're making some some brown sugar as well that's fine <laughs> Well, in fact, yes, let's um, let's put the brown sugar on distribute because that's what it should be on. It is on distribute. Okay. All right. Now, what else we got to do? Well, if we have a look at the map um, and we go across here, turn all that on. Right. So we've got a bit of bit, of, a little bit of planting to do. So we've got to get that started as well. And we've also got our grass down here is ready to harvest. So what we're going to do first, I'm going to get the mower harvesting this. And then we're going to come back and bale it and do all that sort of stuff. So let's just go and do that straight off the bat. So I'm going to come straight down here and get the cougar. And I'm going to bring him out to the field. Like so. Okay, unfold him. Turn our cab around. Okay, now let's have a look. Um, we're in wide spreading mode, which is fine. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a course play course for him. So we're going to come down here, course play, create the job. Okay, and starting there. Course generator, work with. What was the, I keep forgetting what the work width is. Oh, I think it's 15 meters. Um, uh, look, we'll just double check. Uh, where's the powers? 
23 meters, right. So that's that's what we need to double check. We're gonna go back in here. Um, start this again, create the job. Start that, open that. Change that to 23, here we go. Number of headlands, we're gonna do one, we'll do two headlands, it's not really gonna matter too much. Uh, smooth, yep, 7%, we'll do 5%. Uh, that needs to be zero. So, generate the fieldwork course. And that doesn't quite look right, does it? Definitely not right. What's going on there? Right. Uh, some headland smooth, clockwise, up, down. Hmm. I've not noticed it do that before. Hmm. That is really bizarre. I don't know why it's doing that. Multiple tools, not number of headlines. One. Why? I don't know why it's done that. I really don't. Anyway, all right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take that back to up, down, manual. Uh, generate fill work, right, uh, 90 degrees we want. There we go. Much better. Right. Okay, that was bizarre. Anyway, all right, so we're going to put you onto our first waypoint, start him off, and then we'll make sure he's going to go okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go grab some cedar, seeding equipment and get that going. And off you go. Right, excellent. So he's also missing. Hang on, hang on. Some, there's some weird stuff going on here. He's not 23 meters, surely. I I still reckon he's 15 meters. Right, I'm going to do this again. Uh, right, sorry about this, but we're going to get this sorted properly. So create the job. All right. I reckon I'm going to put him at 20 meters. Right, the field work. What I want to do is just get the edge of the field, but not. Wait and see what it does. He's definitely. You know, what? I'm just going to let him go and do that, and then we'll come around. We'll do the outside edges um, separately. With that. That's fine. Okay, there's our new baler. Um, so we are going to get the baler running. Um, I just want to set up the bail size to 240. There we go. All right, um, that's our existing um, Magnum. We just gave it a reef spray. So it's um, existing tractor, it's not a new tractor. So, anyway, we've got the baler there. So the baler is gonna be used to do the grass work. So what we decided to do is just do it all with bales. So we're gonna come back to that when the grass has finished being mowed. Um, right, now we need to grab a tractor and a cedar. Um, right, I'm going to grab the 947. This is the 1000 area here, I think. Uh, I've jumped in the wrong one. Right, not a good start to the episode today, Duck. Right. There we go. All right. Grab the seat up. I'm going to grab this one here. All right, now we are going to be seeding. Uh, what I was going to do? What was I going to do? Wheat or barley? I got to do some barley. All right, let's go and get this done. I'm just going to go straight over to this field here and get some barley planted here, and um, we'll move on with uh, 
worry about everything else a little bit later. Now, the other thing I did as well, I don't think I covered in the last episode, is I've now got a fertilizer and um, seed maker. So what we've got the ability to do now is, um, is to produce our own seed and our own fertilizers. So we're going to look at hooking that up as well. All right. Let's go. So we haven't done full preps on this field, but we're just going to get the seed in the ground and uh, move along. Now, the other field over the other side of the river, we've got the lime on. I'm not sure what I'm going to plant in there as yet, but we'll probably leave that for the next um, season cycle. Uh, don't think... Uh, actually, no, I might, I might put wheat in there. I might just go over there straight after this and put some wheat in. Because um, we do need to make sure we've got stocks of wheat for the, for the sheep, for instance, and also um, to produce our flour. So wheat and barley is always going to be good for that. All right. Anyway, so we are uh, going to keep on working with this, and then um, we're all good to go. So a couple of things to catch up on um, as well. So as we've discussed previously um, on the various series about the platinum edition and the pumps and hoses pack and all that sort of stuff um a couple of the couple of the, you guys have uh have made comments in relation to some of the other videos in relation to that um and we've just received another batch of um um what do they call them friday fact sheets um with more equipment coming out for the platinum pack and yeah it's it's definitely um purely forestry centric and it's very disappointing um, look i know i've seen some commentary on uh, the facebook post that the giants have done in relation to that there's, a, there's obviously there's obviously a, a demand for some forestry stuff but i don't know how big that demand is um i i, I still would be interested to know how many people aren't going to buy it if it is pretty much purely forestry based um because like i know there are some people that really love to do their forestry i get it um i don't and i don't really get why it's such a big part or becoming such a big part of farming simulator um it's forestry not farming now the first thing that many of you may go well well duck you're doing a lot of production work that's not really farming either well while no it's not farming it is using the direct outputs from farming. So everything that we are making comes from um, a crop that we're running. Now, um, that includes the fruit coming from the orchards. It includes the vegetables coming from um, the greenhouses. It includes um, the crops going to make the flour. It includes... Um, what else we got? It includes the, the milk coming from the dairy farms, going to make, make the dairy products. And then they all then go feed into a, a, a secondary population and production chain in many cases. Um, so it is, it is farming, whereas forestry is forestry, sorry. It, it has nothing to do um, with, with farming per se. Um, so, I, I mean, I guess this comes back to what we've been saying for quite some time that farming simulator isn't really a farming simulator it's a farming arcade game and it's just been opened up worse and worse now the other thing i wanted to mention as well is while i'm, while I'm talking about that you all should pretty much be aware of my opinions of, of horses in, in farming simulator when they brought it in in, in fs19 um i was quite vocal in the fact that it's, it's just for um, getting a new new customer base, a new, um, um, words are escaping me at the moment, a, a new, new, um, a new, a new basis of customers to come and play the game. So, so people that like horses, little girls and stuff like that, to, to buy the game and play it so they can ride their horses around and all that sort of stuff. New demographic for the, for the game. Now, I've, I've openly said that I don't agree with the horse in the game. I, I'm not a horse hater. And, and the reason I'm bringing that up is, is I actually, um, last night, I, I watched two of my favourite, all-time favourite movies. Um, 
Man from Snowy River 1 and 2. Um, if you haven't seen them, um, do yourself a favour and watch them. Um, they are they are relatively old now. Uh, Man from Snowy River 1 um, was, was great. It even starred Kirk Douglas. Um, if you don't know who Kirk Douglas is, oh my lord. Um, I'm obviously way too old for you. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's a it's a great movie, and it was just it just prompted me to talk about the fact that while we don't talk about horses and that here in the game, I just wanted to make it known that um, well, I didn't watch and never liked the movie just because the horses that are in it, um, although they do so off some very good riding skills and stuff like that. Um, it's just to show that um, my 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 dislike I won't say hatred my dislike for the horses is purely attributed to the game and why giants are put in the game because I mean let's face it they put the horses in and they've done nothing with it um, what do you do with your horses um, really I mean you're not you're not breeding horses or anything else like that you're not, you're not breeding Arabian studs or anything else like that um, which which in, in its own right yes could be could be treated as farming it but what the way they've the way they've put it in the game um, they just haven't done enough and uh, it's it's entirely a waste I mean I, I've actually got family members that actually run um, an Arabian stud and, and they do some very high quality horses that um, generally always just bought straight away by by some um, by some horse traders and that for the Arab studs and stuff like that um, so it's not something that's that's unknown to me um, but yeah, giants have just done it basically with little thought anyway um, so that's that's with that's with that part of it now so between the forestry and then the horses um, that's that's something that I'm, I'm really interested in doing and then we have um, the pumps and hoses pack, hoses and pump pack, whatever the hell is now look I, I'm not going to rag on creative mesh um, they they have done a good job uh, insofar as actually creating a, a quite a complex and well thought out mod it's just not something that actually works well with the way I play the game um, I wish it did um, it just does not um, I, I did end up buying it um, I, I found it's restrictive myself uh, for, for the gameplay and the, the fields I use um, and I've just decided I'm not using it so probably the first time I think it's I think this now is the first actually no it's not because I didn't buy what was the one before Anyway, so I, I didn't buy the last one. I'm not buying. I've, I've bought pumps and hoses, but I'm just not going to use it. Um, and I only only bought it just to sort of try it out to see if it would work. It doesn't work on the big fields. Um, you can't get the length of hose um, unless it's just the way I'm doing it. But that's that's what I found. It's, it's not going to work for the majority of stuff I'm doing. It'll work on Riverview, um, but I, I'm not going to go to the extent of just playing around for that. One. So I'm just not going to bother. Um, so yeah, eating both that and the platinum pack, you you most likely won't be seeing here on the channel. Um, and like I said, there's been a, there's been a number of you that have actually basically said exactly the same thing in the comments, comments, um, or have spoken to me about. We've been talking on Discord and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's it's something that's just not going to happen, and it's just it's a bit of a shame. Um, but again, I think um, I think while I don't I don't begrudge them putting forestry in, um, I think look unless unless giants have have figures and, and data to, to back up their decision to make a pretty much just forestry DLC or, or forestry pack then there needs to be a lot of other general farming stuff that comes with the platinum pack I mean look it's, it's days yet, there might be a whole pile of stuff that gets announced that isn't forestry and that, that'll be fine if there's not though they're they're risking well, number one they're risking they're not going to get as many sales but 
number two, damaging their brand in, in that regard with the customer base. Um, but I, I'd like to think that Giants have, have done their research and they, they figure that... But, I mean, realistically, I guess as a corporation, you'd be, you'd be wanting to make sure that at least 50% of your player base is going to want to use that DLC. And at the moment, I don't know they will get that far. Um, I mean, is, is there really 50% of the player base that, that like forestry that much that they will buy the Platinum Pack um, and do all the forestry stuff and play the new forestry map and, and all that sort of stuff just from Giants? Who knows? Um, somehow, though, with Giants history, I, I very much do. But anyway, time will tell. Time will tell. You know, like I said before, go check out Manfred Snow River and Manfred Snow River 2. It's um, a good movie. It's got some, some, some great... Uh, Australian actors in it. Um, Lorraine Desmond, Tom Dennehy in the second movie. Um, uh, I can't even think of his lead. Uh, the lead's name, Tom... Uh, the name's escaped me, anyway. Um, look, I mean, yeah. There's just some... Uh, Tony Bonner, I think it's Tony Bonner. Um, just some, some great Australian actors are in, are in the movie, so... Um, and like I said, Kirk Douglas is in the in the first movie, um, and uh, I, I I grew up and in watching those movies, I, I ended up had the soundtracks for it on on data, data tape on cassette tape, and I used to listen to it almost daily. I just loved the music um, as well, the musical score. So um, yeah, go go check it out. Go check it out. All right. So. That's that field done. So let's have a look here. All right. Oh, he's doing a bit of an ordinary job, isn't he? I have to fix this all off off camera. Oh, man. What? I don't know why that's become such a mess. Anyway, come on. Probably could. Yeah. Right. So that field has now been seeded. So we do need to get in there and roll it, which is fine. This field over here, we need to get rid of the stones. Um, and that's okay. Um, we'll do that. That field over there needs to be ploughed. I'm just gonna have a look. When I'm gonna be planting potatoes is going to be back over here in March. So it's gonna be a while for potatoes. So what I'm going to do is now take this over here and prep ready to seed. I'm gonna go grab another tractor with a stone picker um, and have the stones picked up ahead of me. And then I'm going to follow behind with the cedar um, and get that job done. Because we've taken out the guide post. All right. I'm going to jump over into one of the other tractors. Doesn't need to be. Uh, we'll do. All right. So I'm going to go grab the stone picker. I'm going to get him running on that course, on that field that we set up. And then I'm going to uh, follow up with the seeding. And we're going to seed that field with some wheat. All right. We'll get him going nice and quick. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the trailer load of goods um, to the bakery and to the factory and... Um, distribute what we need there and then whatever we're not using i'll um put into the uh warehouse or whatever else in the interim right so here we go let's see if this one works a bit better than the other one so create the job okay. there. right so we're going to do two headlands 8.9 meters should be fine um and automatic you know, the field work okay Oh, actually, I'm going to do, sorry, I'm going to do three headlands. Gives me more room for the cedar. Uh, right, the work course. Right, first waypoint, and off you go. Right, so I'm going to let him get started there. All right, in the meantime... Yeah, okay. I'm not going to worry about that now. Uh, in the meantime, I want to get to him. Right, so... Here we go. This is our 
trucks we've we've come through here to our greenhouses we've selected uh all this stuff here i've got that out now the other thing i did want to look at doing as well um what have i got Eighty-six thousand. what i want to do is i want to install two other greenhouses i'm going to set those up as well now these are the fruit greenhouse now the fruit greenhouse here takes um fertilizer and herbicide and water and seed and it can produce olives and grapes so what we're going to do is we're going to put two of these in because i do want to have olives and grapes as part of the farm so uh how am i going to do this now i want to make it so it's nice and easy to deal with um i'm thinking oh actually i don't know really don't know how where i'm going to put these um Right, I'm going to put these here. One there. Uh, bring them down a bit closer. Do need to get room inside. And one there. There we go. All right. So that's what we've got. So we've got two free greenhouses in play now. Now, I've just got to come over. We'll bring the stuff over probably the next episode. Um, but if we come into uh, production here, we'll find our new greenhouses. Where are we? Uh, probably here somewhere. Where are they? Now, find them for the life of me. Be in this list here somewhere and again this is where dying from giants is not great this should be a pull down list or something else like that that you expand them out there we are they are towards the bottom all right so um for the grapes 100 water 100 seeds 100 fertilizer 100 herbicide will give us 500 grapes okay so i'm going to make that one to grapes you know they make that one olives similarly same output for olives Okay. And then from the olives, we can make olive oil. From the grapes, we can make grape products. Okay. And also raisins. All right. And we've got a cereal plant over here, um, which will, which will, we can produce the cereal once we have the raisins as well. So it's just another product. All right. Enough drawing on duck. Let's go. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back and we're going to get these up and running a little bit later on. We're going to put some water in and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I want to get this delivery sorted. So let's go. And this will be, this will what will close out this episode, delivering some of these products here because um, it's uh, basically that, that time of the day. All right, make sure there's no trains coming. All right, crossing over. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this over. Like I said, we're going to go, oh, take out another sign. There we go. There's nothing unusual for duck. Um, I'm going to take this over to the factory and what was the other one we're going to do? Factory and the bakery and uh, use the products over there. Now we can also use the cocoa at the dairy. So um, we're going to go via the dairy to the factory to the bakery and then whatever's not used there directly um, we will then um, bring back and put it into storage in the warehouse and that part of it might actually be done off camera because um, we'll probably have run out of time by then All right. go in camera and uh, we'll do it this way uh, yeah we'll go this way Yeah, so I hope you're enjoying uh, the series. Uh, we're on, this episode is episode number 90. So we're getting close to our 100th episode. Um, we are at the point, we've, we've spoken about this a few times now, of um, trying to sort of align and work out where we're going to go to next and, and how, what the longevity of this, this series will be, like how many 
episodes will continue on with this with this series and where it'll end up going to. Um, I haven't made a firm decision on that yet because, like I've said before, I'm, I'm really enjoying the current status and and where we're at with, with the series. Well, all four series at the moment, um, and I certainly do hope you are as well. So, um, killing off a series at the moment is, is something that I'm, I'm finding very difficult to choose between. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. Um, so, if, if you have any suggestions in relation to that, what I should be looking at doing and which one um, I should possibly uh, end early and then look at going to a new farm, um, then let me know. Now, I did say before, I'm looking at going possibly to Stevie's Ringwoods farm. I, I haven't checked since I've been back on holidays, um, actually, to see if that um, if that farm is now, that map is now ready to go. Uh, I will have to do that sometime today. That will give me an indication of, of what timeline we're looking at closing off. Um, and other than that, there's other maps I need to go look at and see. So, at the end of that, let me know in the comments down below. Number one, um, this is where you can have an, an input into the direction of, of the channel. Um, let me know um, what series you think we should we should close off on. Close off on soon as the first choice. And secondly, what map or maps we could look at bringing into the channel. So what maps do you think would be a good fit you would like to see uh, me playing and bring into the channel? Now, it's all personal and, and personal preference, all that sort of stuff. I get that. Um, but we'll have a look at it, and then we'll make a decision based on that. So just because one uh, a map gets offered up doesn't mean we'll necessarily go for it. Um, and if we have a number of choices of, of maps that we, we think we might like to do, then we'll probably put a poll out um, on our community posts um, and, and get the input of everyone to see what you would like to uh, have on the channel. I'm going to collect these trailers on this building wall in a second. No, that's going to happen. All right, what are we taking? Still taking lettuce in. Uh, it's almost full now of everything. Do we get caught up on the wall? Yep. Right. I knew it was going to happen. I did. I did change the unload point for this, and then I had to change it back a while back. But um, it is what it is. All right. Nothing on the rear trail that's going to get unloaded. Yes, there is a bit of lettuce. And the rest of the lettuce, seemingly. assume he is full of lettuce now right so we're going to go over to the dairy now and we'll just drop it off now you will have noticed also we've we've changed the layout of this area here as well um i did smooth this out and level it up a bit just so we didn't make that area up near the factory too tight um so we just did a bit of um maintenance work around the area um, and it also means that we've, we've got some room there if we want to put some another building in there we possibly can later on whatever that may be Right. Loading off some strawberries. Okay. More strawberries going in. Just the strawberries we're taking here at the moment. Not sure if I'll take the other. Well, we've got about 9,000 litres of strawberries left. I'm not sure it'll take it all, but we'll, we'll give, it a, give it a good shot. We've only just turned this on as well, so we didn't have this running at this point in time. So just before we started the, uh, the episode, we've turned the production on, so it's now producing. Um, so the next episode or two, we should start seeing products from the bakery that we can uh, 
utilize at the factory and all that sort of stuff for mozzarella sticks and garlic bread and, and whatever else. Oh. Okay, what well, might go close to using all the strawberries. Might make a liar of me. I think it's gonna. Yep, that's it. All gone. Right oh. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is gonna head over to the dairy. We're gonna drop off whatever we need to drop off there. So basically it's the cocoa beans. Um and uh and that will be it. And then we'll take the rest back to the warehouse. Okay. Again, not sure how much it needs in here at the moment, but um we've only got about four and a half thousand cocoa bean so we'll see how much it takes and then the next episode we'll also see about what we need to do to keep this going what I'm going to try and do um, is I'm going to try and do the, any of the production work we have that means we got to move things around or whatever else except for the selling I'm, I'm probably going to try and do that mainly off camera if it's setting stuff up and just transitioning stuff in for, for the production chain generally um, and, and just sort of yeah, try and concentrate a little bit more on just the farming stuff because the production stuff does take a fair bit of time uh, and I, I think we've, as, as one of the comments was, was pointing out we, we see a lot of production work and they want to see a bit more farming work so we'll, we'll look at doing that as well we won't cut it all out but we'll just minimise it where we can alright that's it so the cucumbers, the tomatoes, the onions, the garlic, and the lettuce are all going to go back into the warehouse. All right, so we're going to dump, go dump that in the warehouse, and we'll, we'll sort all that out. Um, see how we're going. I think we've finished with the we have finished with the stone. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to very quickly um, tap over here. Right, so he has finished with the stone pickup. I'm going to grab my tractor that's got the cedar on it. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a course, play course for him. I'm going to get this seeded. Now, when we come back to the next episode, all we'll be left to do is to roll these fields in um, and get them sorted that way. Of course, generation. Um, some number of headlands. I'm going to do two headlands. Fine. Right, the field work. Yep. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to change. All right. Do I have barley selected? I do have barley selected, so I'm just going to go first waypoint and start. Okay, so he's going to go off and he's going to start doing that. In fact, I'm going to jump into this guy over here. I'm just going to move him out of the way. I don't want him getting in the way of the seed up while we're doing other stuff. Parking out the way there. In the shrubbery. Right. And we're going to get back over to the truck and we're going to finish this delivery. And that's where we're going to end this episode. <clears throat> so, thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, make sure you press that like button or the dislike button either way. Uh, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well. Don't forget to leave your comments in relation to uh, the maps. Um, we will be very interested to see that, and it will probably shape the direction of where we're going to go with the channel and the next maps coming up. So uh, please feel free to do so. Um, don't forget to come and join us on Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. The details are down below in the description. But apart from anything else, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and we'll see you again very, very soon. Back here at Ducks Early Gaming and Port Belleron. See you later. Bye.